Hi everyone, I'm Devin Coombs, and today we will be covering question 15 in our series regarding managerial accounting, which we are pulling from CSUN's Gateway Lab exam practices. It's useful for everyone though, so let's read the question. Question reads, the unique bookshelf company is considering the purchase of a custom delivery van costing approximately $50,000. Using a discount rate of 20%, the present value of future cost savings is estimated at 51200 To yield the 20% return, the actual cost of the van should not exceed the $50,000 estimate by more than, and then a series of answers, $50,000, 51200 25, uh, 1200 So let's dive into this. What is this question really asking? So they give us all the numbers, so we don't have to calculate the present value uh, of anything, which is nice. Um, even though calculating present value of cash flows can be fun, but you'll get into that more in advanced finance or basic finance. Uh, using a discount rate of 20%, the present value of future cost savings is estimated at the $51,200. So with this in mind, we need to beat out the 50,000. So the actual cost of the van should not exceed the additional $1,200. This is because the purchase of the new van is approximately 50,000 and will only save 51,200. So if we are saving the $51,200, uh, we need to make sure that the actual cost does not exceed what we are saving or we're wasting money. I hope that makes sense. Uh, that is the so the answer is D. Uh, it throws a lot of these other answers at you, which really would just show that you don't understand the time value of money. But the whole point of this is the fact that if we spend more than our savings, because fifty thousand for the van, and then we're saving fifty one two hundred. Uh, we only have 1200 left over that we can actually spend on the van in order to make uh, the savings. So if we're not going to save money, why buy the new van? That's the main point of this question. Uh, you don't even really need the time value of money to really drill into that. I just think that throws you off. So I'm looking at a question like this. Just make sure you're really understanding what's happening. Uh, if you're thinking of this from a, if you own the unique book bookshelf company, you obviously wouldn't want to spend more than the $51,200 total on a new uh, new van. So that $1,200 makes a lot of sense. Or just trying to save money in the long run. So I hope that makes sense. If you have any questions regarding this, this question, just feel free to write me on my Twitter or feel free to write in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. Also, please subscribe to my channel if you want more information like this and have a wonderful day.